Oleg here at the Conwingo Fisherman's Park in Maryland checking out the local wildlife. Anyway, I have a brand new video for you, hope you like it. But first, I'd like to thank Anonymous Supporter for supporting my efforts. And if you'd like to support my efforts, click on the link in the comments below. Well, I'm back at the Icework Skating Complex. I used to train here for many years, so I'm happy to be spending most of my time here. I still go to Maryland on Saturdays, but like I said, most of my coaching and training time I'm going to be spending at Iceworks. So if you wanted to set something up, I'll be in Aston, Pennsylvania. Anyway, today we are looking at basic twizzles. This was actually a request made by one of the viewers in one of my live streams, and they asked me to do a instructional video about how to do single and double twizzles. So we're going to take a closer look today. All right, so to start off, what you want to do is you want to think about going around your axis. Now, if you notice, you have this axis that runs through your body. You want to be careful not to swing around too much. You also want to maintain a strong form. You don't want to be loose in your arms because if you're loose anywhere, you're going to start to wobble. You're going to enter this skating on two feet, but not too wide apart. Then you are going to press and push into the twizzle, snapping yourself in. We're going to watch this right now. Okay, so we're going to come around here. Now, what you want to do is you want to maintain this axis, as I was saying. Also, you don't want to twist your shoulders and hips away from each other. You want to square off your shoulders and hips. So if you go back... All right, initially, see how the shoulders are back and they're twisted against your hips. Then you're going to snap together. This snap will help you initiate the twizzle. And you snap right there. Okay, so hips and shoulders are square. And then you want to keep your arms in front. There are many different arm positions you can do, but this is just a basic position. Keep your shoulders and hips square, but also make sure that you do not drop either of your shoulders. You want your shoulders to be level and parallel to the ice because if you're dropping one of your shoulders, it's going to pull you down. And if there's one mistake that a lot of skaters make when they mess up a twizzle, it's they dropped one of their shoulders or they over twisted. And then you want to bring up your foot up. You don't want to stick your the back of your foot out. You want it to be close to the skating foot and you want to keep everything together and maintain a very strong core. But don't be rigid. You still want to feel what you're doing, so don't tense up. Now here what I'm doing is I'm doing 1-1-2-2 one, one, two, two twizzles. And then you do want to practice both feet. Because what often happens is uh, skaters have a dominant foot just like everyone else. And then if you only practice your dominant side, what's going to happen is your dominant side will get really good. And then your weaker side is not going to progress so you don't want to get into that if you are already at that stage where your dominant side is say twice as good as your weaker side you want to just double up the training for every time you do your dominant side do two times of the weaker side okay now here we are looking at the twizzle close up notice how i'm turning ball heel ball heel ball heel ball heel ball heel ball heel you can see it right here all right so this is important because if you just try to hold on to the ball of your foot, you're going to end up doing loops instead of twizzles. 
you know notice I'm doing this consciously I'm actively trying to turn ball heel and I'm feeling it as I'm doing it I could feel my foot turning now when you come into it what you want to do is see I'm riding in through my heel but then I'm gonna turn on the ball okay bring myself up and then I'm gonna to go to the heel turn on the heel again go forward on the ball turn on the heel this is important anyway uh, keep that in mind if you're having problems with loops or you're having a hard time starting your twizzles really just take your concentration and feel what your foot is doing and if that's not working look at your tracings when you check your tracings make sure that your tracings don't have any loops and they are equidistant if you have wide spacing and then narrow spacing that means you're rocking on your blade and you're not turning evenly and if you have loops like i said you're probably holding on to the ball of your foot the thing with twizzles is you have to practice them on a regular basis it's one of those things that they're not going to get better on their own so make sure that you put in at least a couple of minutes of practice Oftentimes, it takes a very, very long time to get consistent with twizzles. And I've seen many skaters that it just drives them nuts because they try and try and try, but then they feel like they're not getting anywhere. And it's one of those things. With enough effort and practice, and I'm talking like years of practice, eventually you're going to have a relatively easy time of doing them. But in dance, twizzles are worth a lot of points and with good reason because like I said, they are not easy to do properly. All right, now here, what I'm doing is I'm doing four or more rotations. This is another exercise you can do where you simply start a twizzle and then you do as many rotations as you can, but make sure that you don't hold it too long because if you stall, you will fall. In terms of safety, people do fall on twizzles. I mean, I've fallen on plenty of twizzles. Make sure that you don't throw yourself into a twizzle, especially if you start to get frustrated. Sometimes it's better to say, hey, let's just let it go for now and then come back to it later in the day or come back another day because it's very easy to get badly hurt on twizzles. I've seen it happen. Also, keep in mind that you have to be aware of where you're going. You can practice this by doing twizzles along a line or parallel to a line. That way you can see if you're falling in on your twizzle or if you're maintaining your direction of travel. There is a form of spotting going on in twizzles where you kind of focus on something ahead of yourself and then you come back around and you spot it again each time. This isn't quite like ballet spotting where you whip your head around to the spot that you're aiming at. Although I have seen skaters do twizzles like that. Something else I should point out is that if you don't have good forward inside, forward outside, backward inside, backward outside edges, then doing twizzles could be very difficult, especially involving edges where you have a hard time controlling them. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you work on your edges and that you are comfortable doing all four of your edges on each foot, so all eight edges. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, but a quick recap. Remember that when you snap into your twizzle, you want to square off your shoulders and hips. Practice your singles and doubles on each foot, and if you're feeling up to it, you could also add triples and quadruple twizzles if you'd like. Or you could even go as high as you want, but really doing four rotation twizzles is sufficient. Remember when you're turning your twizzles to turn ball, heel, ball, heel, and be active about it. Don't get frustrated if you're having a hard time with your twizzles, and work on balance exercises. They're going to go a long way toward making you skate better. Make sure that you're not falling out of your twizzles and make sure that the spacing is equidistant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new today. If you'd like to support my skating, you could do so via Patreon or through my GoFundMe. You can find the links in the comments in the description below. See you next time.